We can now install and configure a Windows agent. Agents are software components installed locally on hosts or alongside applications that require automation services. Agents exist for operating systems, Java components, and software products like SAP. The automation engine organizes their activities centrally so they can execute some sort of instruction, say a batch process. Agents then report back the results to AE. Windows agents have a few requirements. First, they need the TLS certificate. We won't generate another certificate. We'll just repurpose the one from the AWI hosts. They also require Microsoft Visual C++. If your system is maintained through Windows updates, this shouldn't be an issue. If it isn't, Visual C++ is included in the install package. Windows agents send processing to the operating system under Set Submission Accounts. These accounts are mapped to Windows users who require a number of local security policies so they can physically interact with the operating system. We'll assign these rights in local security policy. Then we install the agents. The install package contains an executable. The agent has an INI file, which we configure. Finally, we start the agent, observe the connection in AWI, and finish setting up the service manager. In the architecture diagram, we're installing the TLS certificate and the agents. We have to configure local security policies and adjust the configuration file. The agent communicates using mechanisms that are comparable to those of AWI. First, let's go over TLS and Visual C++. The video assumes that the host has been configured. We're using the same user, User1. Make sure you maintain a level of consistency with users and installs, or you'll run into permission issues. Java has been configured, and we have the install package. We copy the TLS certificate from the AWI host. The same certificate will work without any problems. Finally, we install Microsoft Visual C++. This is included in the install package and found in the external resources directory. The install fails because of a newer release of the package. This happens if you had a recent Windows update. You can ignore this and move on. Tasks are always submitted to Windows under a specific submission account, which should be mapped to a Windows user. In order to submit processes to Windows, that user account needs a number of local OS permissions. They are granted by assigning local Windows security policies. We've provided the full list of policy permissions. In order to set them, we start the SecPol MSC program. We'll perform one change, say, act as part of the operating system. We've set one policy. Use the list we provided to set all of the others. We install the agent using the executable. There's an associated INI file. Here are the basic settings for the agents. The agent has a name. This can be anything you want, although we recommend a naming convention. By default, the value is Win01. We'll set it to the host name. Then we have the system name. This should be consistent across AE, AWI, agents, and analytics. We've already discussed this. We have a TCP IP section with a connection setting for JCP. Specify the AE hostname and the secure WebSocket port. Finally, we enter the location of the TLS certificate in the authorization section, as well as the public key password, which we set when we generated the key store. Use UCB CRIP if you do not want to enter a clear password. Windows adds the executable to the Start menu automatically. You can start with the shortcut or the executable in the bin directory.
Back in Explorer, we head to the Agent File System and configure the INI file. We start the agent and observe the connection in AWI. We also finish configuring the service manager on this machine so we can control our agent from the dialog. We have a file explorer on the right and AWI on the left. Let's start the agent and see what happens. In AWI, we're displaying the agent page in the admin perspective. When the agent starts, we'll notice a messages notification. We're back in Explorer. Let's finish configuring the service manager. In the SMD file, we have to rename the agent service with the name we gave it in the INI file. Previously, we had set the wait to 17 seconds to demo the impacts of the dialog on the SMC file. We scale this back to a more reasonable 4 seconds and give the agent service the proper name. 